Let's take the integral of e to the 2x dx. Now, what do we already know about integrals that will make this problem manageable? Well, we know that the integral of e to the x dx, not 2x, but x, always equals e to the x, and the dx becomes plus c. We know this. But what does e to the 2x dx equal? Well, if I can solve a problem that's in this format that easily, then all I need to do is to change this format so that it looks just like this format. And here's our obstacle to doing that, 2x. I have to change these two characters into one character. And let's see how we do that. I start off by taking this 2x and assigning it, assigning it to you, like so. I now have one letter, whereas before I had two letters. Well, that's good. We're almost done now. But in doing this arbitrary substitution, we've kind of thrown our expression out of balance. We have to restore that balance. Now, how do we do that? The dx is the key. We changed this part to u. It was 2x, now it's u. And created this imbalance. Now we'll change this part, dx, and restore the balance. Now, how do we do that? Well, we'll start right back here where we left off, which is u equals 2x. We'll take the derivative of 2x now. We have a u on the left and an x on the right, so we write du dx. We move it over a bit, and the derivative of 2x is 2. Let's multiply both sides by dx. And the dx on the left cancels, giving us du equals 2dx. Now we divide both sides by 2. 2 cancels on the right, and we get du halves equals dx. Rewritten, we get 1 half times du over 1 equals dx. Let's move it over a bit, like so. Or 1 half du equals dx. Now look, we can substitute here. Let's replace dx with its equivalent, 1 half du, like so. Let's move the constant now to the left of the integral sign, like so. We're allowed to do that, and we should. Let's clean this up a bit, like so. And we can now take the integral of e to the u du quite easily. Why? Because it's now in this format. The integral of e to the u is e to the u. And du becomes plus c. We bring down the one-half and condense it. Clean off the top area, and we move it up. Now we've got to replace that u with its original value. It's very easy to forget that, which was 2x. And we're done. The integral of e to the 2x dx equals one-half e to the 2x plus c. You may want to review this a few times till you've mastered the material therein. Logically yours, George Bolt.